Good morning and welcome to KTM Mid-Morning. My name is Koi. And as I told you yesterday, the Nairobi fashion market is coming up this weekend at the Impala Grounds and Mid-Morning is on top of it in terms of showcasing some of the designers and retailers who are expected to participate. Now the event will have a mix of well-known designers and retailers as well as those who are trying to get into the market. Now speaking of new talent in the fashion industry, today we meet a new name in the fashion industry who is evidence of the young talent present in the country. Let's meet her on Mid-Morning Lifestyle. Okay, my name is Sarah Mugambi. I'm a third year student in USIU. I'm doing IBN marketing. My design style is um, runway to street inspired. My outfits, you can actually, um, it's just off the runway. You can actually wear something off the runway. My passion started way back in high school when I was in Form 3 and I was taking art really seriously then. So I just ended up sketching designs and stuff and that's how it started. I even started making for different people outfits. And then now when it came to this year, I thought of actually having an official launch to now start it off officially. Yeah. Just I classify my clothes um, in earth, water, um, air and fire. Why I decided to use the elements is because I like being different. I mean even in green fall, summer. Yeah, I just wanted to be different and it was an actually an interesting way to actually have um, different collections. Yeah, none have done that yet. Um, what is unique about my designs is the fact that I like my clients having a few, um, their own personal touch to their outfit. You may buy, you may like something like one of my designs, but I bring for you different samples so you can make your own mix of colors. My design influences locally, Blackbird jeans and Kaveki. But internationally, I am it's uh, Mark Jacobs and Carolina Herrera. Carolina Herrera is timeless. Like her, her, her outfits from 1990s can still be worn now. That's something I'd like to do. <laughs> The mistake Kenyan women make is not dressing for your body size. I think um, people are still confused. They, you may see something really nice on someone else and you're a different size and you insist on having the same outfit. So I think people really need to know their body size and what um, suits them best. Case in point, here is a Sarakari design that fits the curvy woman perfectly. It is a strapless mermaid shaped dress made with African fabric in black and gold detail. The signature feature of a strapless dress is an exposed, uninterrupted neck and shoulder line such as this one. The black color along her hips contrasted by the gold in the middle gives a slimming effect while still maintaining the curvy look. The gold detail is also in the back of the dress providing a great contrast with the black color. This dress can be worn for formal family functions such as weddings, dowry ceremonies, birthday parties, and so on. This green shoulder strap dress is a great addition to any woman's closet as it can be worn for a number of occasions such as cocktails, dinner parties, weddings, and any dressy event. And if you don any body decorations such as this tattoo, then the shoulder strap gives you a perfect excuse to show it off in style. The green color is broken by seams which run horizontally on the chest and vertically on the lower part. The shoulder strap is layered and detailed in design. For the party girl, this outfit will definitely make you stand out from the crowd. Curvy women should not shy away from wearing shorts as they can look fabulous if cut at the right places. These high-waist leopard print shorts lengthen her legs, making her look taller and slimmer. The high-waist shorts bring out her small waist. The black chiffon top wears loosely, which complements perfectly with the fitting shorts. So who said that short and curvy girls should shy away from bold colors?
For taller ladies, these gold and black patch trousers bring out those long legs without compromising that tall frame. Tall women have to watch out for the high waist as they don't want to end up looking taller than is necessary. The trick when looking for an outfit as a tall woman is to strike a balance between upper body and lower body which this Sarah K outfit has done. The black chiffon top breaks the loud color of the trousers. The spark for designing has always been there. I've actually been doing outfits for different clients but now I wanted an official launch. That's why, that's why I had it in May. But before then I've done for like even for Mr. and Mrs. Yosayu, I've done some outfits. So it's just basically clients who came to me and asked for outfits, then that's when I thought I should may as well have a lunch. I've had no training. This is just at school, at and in high school when I was in Makini. And um, that's just basically it. I've just been drawing, sketching, yeah, since then. First of all, um, uh, for my designs, I really like, I really want someone to feel confident in their own body size. So that's why I even have like different sizes. Yes and no, I, I, I feel intimidated a bit, but I'm also on, I like for Nairobi Fashion Market to share in the stage with John Kaveke, my idol. So it's one of those things where it's yes and no. Sarah may be a little intimidated but is definitely confident in her skill as is seen with this daring yet reserved beachwear outfit. As is common with beachwear colors, this jumpsuit is a soft sky blue and made with a light material. The reserved look is given off in the front of the outfit which is well covered whereas the daring look is given off at the back which is open. To add character to the outfit, a hood is also attached. The waistline is covered with a blue and black print which breaks the monotonous blue color. This outfit is perfect for the modern working woman looking for a bold look. It is a two-piece outfit consisting of a tuxedo jacket and dress. The big gold-plated buttons draw attention immediately. To break the black color, Sarah added gold color fabric to the sleeves and collar. More drama is added with this bow tie at the back of the jacket. The bow tie not only adds drama but class to the outfit as well. The gold color detail accentuates her hips giving a great contrast with the black. Another must have outfit for any woman is a dinner dress. This black dress is simple in design yet elegant all the same. A properly placed slit is always a great way to heighten the sexiness of any dress. The strapless dress shows off the shoulder line and makes the neck look longer than it is. The key to a great dinner dress is the fit. It can either be tight and fitting or a bit loosely fitting such as this dress. The fabric used for this dinner dress is heavy and so provides heat during colder evenings. This loose-fitting dress with volume arms is a great addition for those days when you want to feel more glamorous than usual. The right amount of cleavage reveals enough skin and makes you stand out without looking trashy. The generous open chest allows you to adorn layered necklaces. The volume arms add a touch of class and glamour to the dress. This dress can be worn to a number of glamorous events such as award ceremonies or even out on a hot date. If you're not into dresses, you can still step out in style in this outfit. Sarah Carey Designs has this cute pair of shorts that hit at the mid-thigh and flatter most heights and are stylish. The right pair of heels are important when dressing up shorts such as these gladiator heels. Instead of buttons running down, this jacket fits just right due to the seams sticking in below the chest. The leopard print running from the collar to the front line of the jacket adds glamour to this outfit. Tall women should embrace their height and these mid-thigh shorts are not only classy but show off her long legs. Sarah Carey designs are versatile and this brown jumpsuit is unique in its design. It is a shoulder strap jumpsuit whose cut and style allows you to stay in style as you grab lunch or coffee with your friends. The leopard print shoulder strap is a focal point of this outfit. 
the cargo pockets draw attention to the hips and thighs, causing them to look bigger. Not only can you catch up in style with your friends in this outfit, but attend a number of events in it as well. I dislike tights. That's the one fashion trend I do not like. Tights that are worn as trousers with tops. Yes, that's like my ultimate worst fashion trend. Sarah is one of the designers expected to display her work at the Nairobi fashion market. The, the thing about um, Nairobi fashion market that attracted me is the fact that it's a major platform for designers to actually showcase your things. And that's really a good, like it's a, such a great initiative that they're doing. So um, that's why I I'd insist that designers, even though your house is small, just, you can actually come and it's a great platform for you. So I had my lunch um, recently in May and one of the organizers from Nairobi Fashion Market actually came for the event and they contacted me and asked me if I wanted to participate. And of course I was overjoyed, so that's the other time about it. Sarah says that consumers should expect bright colors from our art collection during the event. My future plans, I want to, have, I want to be able to do children's wear, as well as um, to just have a one-stop shop where you can have shoes done and, and bags and you know, all kinds of things. Yeah. <laughs> Fashion can be an intimidating community for young professionals looking to get started as designers. As you can see from Sarah's story, you don't always have to be trained, especially if it's a natural talent that you possess. Don't be afraid to reach for your dreams as you never know where they may lead you. Send your comments to midmorning at standupmedia.co.ke and also visit our Facebook page, KTM Midmorning, and drop in your comments or your questions. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.